I'm going to shoot a quick video real quick. I built a mock-up um, of a firewall, although it's rudimentary, because this is actually 32 thousandths aluminum, which actually melts at a lower temperature than uh, the stainless steel, obviously. And this is the thermosite, uh, thermosite um, thermal barrier. The idea is to apply flame to the Ford firewall side and see just how well the uh, interior side insulation holds up. Um, just held in place with a couple of pop rivets pretty loosely held in place. Um, these rivets are just regular old standard aluminum rivets from Sears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light a torch on this back side. Um, I try, since it's just me, I can't run the, the uh, uh, thermometer, the infrared thermometer and, and the propane gun at the same time, but you'll get the idea of just from watching the, uh, the aluminum because this, this melts at a much lower temperature than the, uh, than the stainless steel. Don't know how long it'll take either, but what I'll do, we can, we can probably just tell by uh, looking at the clock on um, on the video itself just to see how long it takes. So I'm just going to apply, apply the heat on the back side. Aluminum is still doing pretty good. I'm actually starting to smell it right now. Aluminum is still holding up fine though. I can see the material starting to break down inside. It's actually melting. I can see the glue starting to run out of it. That didn't help. We extinguish the flame first. Huh? Now you can start to see some of the fumes coming out. And there we go. And that's on the inside. What I was wanting to do was use this material for... Um, you can see some nasty black smoke coming out of it too. And the, the flame's starting to punch through. And that's about the temperature the aluminum's starting to melt now. Wow, look at this. Down here on this bottom piece down here, you can see a bunch of black material just running out. So I'll perform it again once with stainless. I had the same result yesterday. I had the same result yesterday with 60 thousandths aluminum, and it, it lit up like this before, I, uh, before the aluminum ever started to melt. But this one actually did get warm enough for the aluminum to melt. So um, Anyway. I'm going to look for a better solution inside the firewall. Just thought I'd post it and share it for others if you're considering using the same material inside the firewall. Catch you later. Bye.